are definitely the cultural aspects that influence um, their their um, actions as well. But I know for myself, I am Hmong, and there are definitely other societal pressures for me as cooking, cleaning, um, becoming a mother and being a good mother and stuff like that. So preparing for life after, or you know, when you, I want to start my life. Do you think that being a young woman of color, you are expected to do certain things like cleaning, babysitting, cooking, and always being trapped inside the house? Well, I have. In my culture, girls are expected to work around in their house and support their husband. But I want to change that right now and right here. I would say the American woman is a woman that is strong, that has strong values. Brown hair, light skin. But also a woman that has a job, who's independent. That's strong and can hold her own. More or less, yeah. Okay. But also knows, God, this is going to sound sexist of me, but uh, like the home. Kind of good with kids. Um. Stuff. American woman, in my opinion, is beautiful. I don't care. She can be white, Asian, black, Mexican. I don't care. A beautiful woman, that's the American woman. I can't stand when boys look at me like that. When I'm not like these other females, I don't just give myself away. I am very intelligent, and boys need to see it. It's about what's inside. One day, I was walking down the street, and a young boy came up to me and tried to holler at me, and it was very uncomfortable. I didn't understand what was focused on your appearance rather than what's inside. Everything that comes at us from First thing in the morning on Good Morning America is blonde hair, blue eyes, 31 inch hips. Now that is a beauty, but not the standard of beauty. But when you see it all the time, you figure like, okay, well I don't look like them, so what do I need to do to look as close to them as possible? For women of color, I think it's worse. Uh, we've had this long running um, affair with our hair. And that's another piece in terms of the self-hatred. All right. Trials of that black woman, the one you ignored with her big hips and big lips. No, yeah, she got that brain. Skin is used as camouflage, though not intentional. But enough about her and all the ways she's failing, because there's still Bailey. She's every man's L'Amour Cherie. And you see, Bailey is light not bright, and walks as she flips her hair. But it's time I state the point of this tune. You see that black woman needs credit. She does more than she's debted. And though her smiles don't catch rays, Bailey's laugh will lead you to dismay. So the next time you fall for those Maybelline eyes, remember that black woman and her timeless trials.